Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you the Buzz Serana. It's an electric trike from Buzz Bicycles. The trike arrives on a pallet and requires some assembly. It's fairly easy, as you can see most of it is already assembled. Just putting on the wheel and you're ready to go. I've got to say, riding this trike is a lot of fun. With the front and rear cargo, you can really carry around a lot with it. I think the Buzz trike is a great option for someone who has problems on a normal bike. And with it having an electric motor to assist you when pedaling becomes difficult makes it an even better option. The bike is controlled by this main head unit. It has a nice backlight. It will show your current speed as well as what assist level you have selected how far you've driven it, and a few other things. It also shows your battery power remaining. This is really nice to have right front and center, as well as the ability to easily turn on and off the light. In addition to that main head unit, you also have controls here that you can use your thumb Pressing up and down will increase the amount of pedal assist that you're getting. You can also cycle through the information on the display and you can turn on and off the bike or the headlight. One other nice feature is that there is a USB plug underneath where you can plug your phone in to charge it. The bike has a low 18 inch step over height which makes it easy for someone that's not super stable to step over and get onto the bike. Up on the handlebars here, it has some really nice grips. They're like a soft foam material. They're lock on with screws underneath, so you don't need to worry about them twisting on you. On the right hand of the handlebars, you get a bell. This is also where you can shift between seven different gears, shift the derailleur down here at the bottom between those seven different gears. Bike has a super large cushioned seat, which is nice and comfortable. It's easily adjustable by this quick release here. Also included is a nice set of pedals with reflectors. There's a set of nice fenders that come included on the front and rear of the bike. Those are nice for keeping rain or puddles off of you as you drive through them. They're also nice when riding the bike because these rear tires are exposed more just to make sure your feet aren't getting caught in the wheels. The brakes are a mechanical brake which means they're driven by a cable that runs to the rear and front of the bike. The brakes grab onto this disc rotor which provides stopping power. It's nice to have a strong brake when you're driving such a big bike. The rear brake is tied directly into the rear hub which gives it ultimate stopping power for both of the rear tires. It's made of aluminum. The welds seem very high quality on it. It is a 300 watt, 20 mile per hour, powered off of a lithium ion battery. It has that nice headlight in the front, which makes being visible at night very nice, as well as just being able to see the road. There's also a nice tail light and reflector in the rear of the bike. Also included is this nice basket on the front and this basket at the rear. This basket can be disassembled by pulling out these pins and it can fold flat. The bike is driven by a 350 watt mid-drive motor with a top speed of 20 miles per hour and a range of 20 to 40 miles on a battery charge. The large front and rear cargo baskets also make it extremely nice to run errands with, also having the convenience and stability of a trike makes it accessible for many riders that may not be able to ride a bicycle. Electric bikes are becoming more and more popular and it's nice to see the option of getting an electric trike. If you like videos on outdoor gear, please consider subscribing. If you'd like to read the full review, head over to our website, gearchase.com.